it means is you've got to choose that high-flying disc and keep choosing it until you have success at it. If you choose it and then you get lazy before breakfast, then not much has been accomplished. But if you choose it and are able to maintain it a little while, now results are going to come to you that are going to keep the momentum going. We promise you, you cannot have an idea that thrills you and then that pays off without understanding what momentum is. Law of attraction is the heart of momentum. What's it like to start positive momentum? What's the easiest way to start positive momentum? Appreciation. Appreciation seems good if you've got some momentum already going. But what if nothing in your life is worth appreciating? What if you hate your job, your lover left, and took both cats? <laughs> Then what? <laughs> so the way to start momentum is to start general. Someone called out nature. The way to start positive momentum really is to be as general as you can. Because when you get specific, what happens is you activate the momentum that you've already had going. Does that make sense? So the more general you are. So what's the most general thing that you could think when you wake in the morning? something that's good feeling? Could you focus upon your body lying in the bed? Could you appreciate the fact that you breathed all night long and you didn't have to think about it? That your bodily functions are working, that your heart is pumping and that the air is flowing? Could you just for a moment acknowledge in appreciation, but really more generally, the physical well-being of that, no matter what's going on in your body, those things that are happening, it's big, it's really, really big. It's really big. It's really worth appreciating for a little bit. The roof over your head, the air conditioner when you're in a hot city, the structure that provides the electricity that makes it possible for this easily accessible and very low cost energy. Isn't that something worth focusing on? And isn't it positive and doesn't it feel good? And isn't there some appreciation in that? And if you've stayed there for as little as 17 seconds, which we just did, isn't there something else that you could leapfrog into? Something else that feels equally good? Aren't you appreciating the commerce of your world? Aren't you appreciating the fact that the world is so large and there is so much energy and how dynamic it is? Don't you love the economy of your world? Don't you love the standard of living? that you have access to? Isn't it nice? Don't you appreciate the way you get around? Have you looked at the vehicles that you drive? You look at the vehicles and you see how solid they are, how well constructed they are, how reasonable they are, how accessible they are. Don't you feel fortunate to live in an environment where everyone you know has transportation? Not just transportation, but for the most part, really reliable transportation. Aren't you pleased with the organization that your government has provided that puts these roadways in place? Aren't you amazed that you can get anywhere that you want to be? Not just in your conveyances that are on the ground, but those that are in the air. Isn't this a wonderful time to be alive? Don't you love being at the peak of technology? Aren't you enjoying the computer that you have today? Do you remember the one that you had 20 years ago? Do you remember how many megabytes of memory you had in comparison with what you've got going on now? Don't you appreciate the ease of all of that? Now, did any of you feel any argument with any of that? Was it boring? In some cases, it was boring, but there was no resistance in the conversation. So now the momentum can continue. So you find yourself appreciating things like that generally. You find yourself appreciating things like that globally. You find yourself acknowledging the well-being, the well-being of how most are thriving around you. You could even find yourself comparing yourself to those who live in other places and feeling appreciation for where you have landed and what you are accomplishing. 
then you can move in to your appreciation for trading stocks and the facilities for it that make it possible and the intuitiveness that you find and how fun it is to use the power of your mind and how great it is to get to do the math and how nice it is that there is a mathematical science that you understand and how nice it is that the market is broad enough that there is no long-term risk and that knowing what you know and being able to apply your thoughts in the way that you do, that you can actually calculate with some accuracy what's coming back to you. And as you acknowledge the feeling of elation, as you've applied these principles, these laws of the universe, where you have deliberately brought yourself into vibrational alignment with something, brought yourself vibrationally up to speed with it, found thoughts and then practiced those thoughts and spoke them regularly. I'm really good at this and things go really well for me. And the clients that I work with and the others that I trade with, the others that I get to play with, this is really a remarkable thing that's going on. And you feel the momentum of that going. The reason that that momentum keeps going well for you is because that is the vibrational momentum that you've got going. But you can get that momentum going on every subject in the world. Anything that matters to you, you have the ability to allow, not get that momentum going, to allow the momentum that you already got going to sweep you into its momentum. This is the thing. Am I in the mode of receiving? Am I practicing the art of allowing? Am I practicing the art of allowing the momentum that has already been established by the desires that I've been offering? Am I allowing the momentum that has already been established by the desires that I've set into motion and continued by the non-physical energy that is giving its undivided attention to it? Am I now allowing myself to receive the benefit of that momentum, that incredible momentum do you understand the leverage in allowing yourself to be swept up into that momentum and all it means is you got to choose that high flying disc and keep choosing it until you have success at it if you choose it and then you get lazy before breakfast then not much has been accomplished but if you choose it and are able to maintain it a little while now results are going to come to you that are going to keep the momentum going we promise you you cannot have an idea that thrills you and then that pays off without understanding what momentum is. Law of attraction is the heart of momentum. But when you choose this and then you choose its opposite and then you choose this and then you choose its opposite, you don't allow the momentum to get going. You see how it works? But when you choose it, and don't resist it and choose it 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 and don't resist it. This is the energy that creates worlds and it's available to you. It's coursing through you. All these unseen but not unknown non-physical energies, all those who are supporting you and believing in you and knowing what you've asked for and knowing that it's all right, all rooting for you, never disappointed when you're not on that disc but always there waiting for you to join. So then, you get really good at it. You're on the disc on a really regular basis. Oh, and when you start hanging out on that high-flying disc, guess who joins you? Others who are hanging out on that high-flying disc. So the funnest ones are there. The smartest ones are there. The nicest ones are there. The most appreciative ones are there. You live in a world and it makes you wonder, what's anybody complaining about? What are they complaining about? What's all that stuff that they're living? Don't think about that too long, but what's that stuff that they're living? <laughs> Don't they know how good this life is? Don't they know how prosperous this world is? Don't they know how high flying and good feeling it is? Why don't they feel like I do, you see? Well, because they've practiced something else. This was a really good discussion. You feel like you can do it? You feel like that you sometimes are doing it? We promise you, you will never again not feel good without knowing why. You've just got some other momentum going. Never again will you not know. The question is, and we're putting it to all of you, is there anything more important than the disc you choose? Do you have options about which disc you choose? Are you likely to get better at it as the days go by? If you choose that disc and slip from it, does it matter? So if you choose that disc for two or three or four or five or ten days and you slip from it, does it matter? Is your likelihood to stay on it better after the second week and third week and fourth week and fifth week? Do you know people who always seem to be on that high-flying disc? Do you know people whose worlds seem to go well all the time? Do you know people who bounce back from whatever's going on no matter what? 
Is it necessary that you stay only in that high flying place? Is step one part of the equation? Is it all right to occasionally step into a different vibration with a different momentum? And what does that establish within you? A stronger decision or a stronger determination to move into that higher frequency. Can you get it wrong? Do you ever get it done? So what's the point of all of this? Now, we really want you to think about this. What's the point of all of this? Are we talking about this disc so that you can then allow those things, those experiences, those people, those women, those cats, those dollars? Are, are, are we trying to get you on that disc so that all that stuff will then gravitate to you? Part of it. Be nice when that comes. But isn't there always going to be Aren't you always going to be standing in a place where you're making the choice? Aren't you always going to be standing in a place in your now where you're making the choice? So it's really a choice worth contemplating because you can make it first thing in the morning or you can make it all day, every day. What disc am I choosing? What disc is this conversation on? Yeah, Abraham, I've been thinking that I drove all the way from San Diego to get in the hot seat because I want to tell you <laughs> Really? That's what you came all this way? To discuss with infinite intelligence? And what do you want to talk about now? It's already been a really good day. <laughs> it's a good day and life is good and all things are possible and I can do this and I feel invincible and I believe in the laws of the universe I know that they're consistent and I know that they're not working for me or against me they're just working and I know how they work and I know about attraction and I know about focus I'm really good at that and I know about emotions, and now I understand that emotions are the indication of the disc. And now I'm clear about what I'm reaching for. I'm going to choose the emotion first. I'm going to choose my point of attraction first. I'm going to watch what happens as I choose my point of attraction first. I'm going to tend to my disc. I'm going to tend to the spinning disc that I'm on. I'm going to be the center of my universe. I'm going to watch what comes in response to me. There's nothing more exhilarating than being a deliberate creator. I love living in this universe where there are so many options and so many subjects and so many things to think about and so many people that will play with me on any level of vibrational frequency that I choose. It is so rich with so much depth and breadth. I can't think of anything I would rather do than be in physical form after on the leading edge, exposed to all of this contrast choosing things and then watching the vibrational response to the things that I've chosen oh, sculpting the energy, creating worlds and never ceasing doing that and playing with all of those who have been before who are eager and still involved in what's going on in this planet and sort of picking up where they left off but not really picking up where they left off but playing with them now and realizing that every one of them all those brilliant scientists, all those brilliant artists, all those brilliant songwriters, all those brilliant musicians, all those brilliant architects, all those brilliant athletes, all those brilliant everything that you can imagine are now non-physically focused and available to me in their purest form. All of them there, ready to offer me insight and clarity on any subject in the world that I would choose. I have access to every single one of them. I want to get on that disc and I want to play with them. I want to play with them. I want to play with them in this world. I want to play with them in this world, you see. And then other physical beings will join me. And oh, we'll have wonderful parties, wonderful momentum parties where our joy will just reach higher and higher and higher and faster and faster and faster. Our love will grow deeper and longer and steadier, where we will sustain ourselves in the vibrational frequency that we started in, in the vibrational frequency that we understand, living happily ever after. We're not kidding you. Ever after. No ending. Ever after. No ending. No reason to experience anything other than happiness ever. It's your choice. It's there for you. We're all there, keeping it going, you see. Nice to know.